You ever find yourself out in the garage looking at a set of tools saying, well, this would work, but I really need something else. In reality, you could actually just use a cool tip or trick that would help you make your life a lot easier. Well, if that didn't make any sense to you, it didn't to me either. Long story short, I was on TikTok. I seen a bunch of cool tricks and tips when it comes to hand tools and power tools. And we're gonna test them out. We're gonna try them today. All right, let's start it out with the cool one. This right here is a torque lock from a Waka IA tool. And what I notice about these kind of tools, they always come in these nasty, hard to open packages. A lot of the times you'll use a knife to open this thing up. And sometimes, well, you're buying a knife with this package, which is like a chicken and the egg thing. And it's just not real nice. Like. But in the TikTok video, they claim that if you squeeze this enough times, that it will open. So as you can see, this is a brand new package. You know, even got your little zip tie on here. I just went to the Home Depot. I picked this up. Can I open this package with my bare man hands? Hmm. No, 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 look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? It was that freaking, my friends, you've seen that. You've seen that. I didn't use any tools. I just squeezed on that and opened up that package. Still don't know how I'm gonna get that zip tie off though. FYI, you wanna see a review on these things here? Leave a comment in the comment section below, let me know. All right, so this has to do with Allen wrenches. Now, imagine you're a mechanic, you're underneath the car, and you come across a bolt with an Allen wrench head. Now you gotta find the correct size for the Allen wrench. Instead of taking this over and pulling out each one of these, well, this is what you do. You go up to the said bolt, push on this, one, two, three, and, well, you see that right there? So now I come over to my Allen wrench set, and that's too big match it up with the hole that should work all right let's try this one is this the correct size look at it <gasps> is that not the weirdest thing man now the impression is gone off my thumb so you only have limited time to do this but again just gonna push down on this one two three come over you should be able to see that on my thumb right there and this should line up with the inner circle Right there. Oh, nice All right, next up we got hole saws. Now we've all made this mistake before. We accidentally cut a hole of two inches when we really needed a two and a quarter. All right, so we all know how these work, right? We find the size of the hole saw that we want. You got the little drill bit right there and that's gonna help us follow without jumping around. <laughs> but now that I cut this out, well, my drill bit, Come on, man. My drill bit doesn't have anything to grasp onto. So if I go with something bigger, that thing might just spin all over the place. Well, that is a two now. So that is a one and a half. And oops, I should have went with two inches. All I need to do is, well, take the one off that we just used, the inch and a half. Take it and put it in the, well, two inch. Take them and, well, screw them both on at the same time. Go slowly with this, my friends. Tighten it down. Go back to the exact same hole that you already drilled. That's going to be used as your pilot now. Whoa! All right, so the next one here, I'm going to have to see to believe with my own eyes. Basically, what it comes down to is a lot of people are going to strip out or bust out or blow out the side of their wood right here. And well, that's not real nice, like. So let's see what happens when I put this screw at the corner of that piece of woodage. So you can see it split it down through here. So the premise of this is, well, I guess the point at the end of this is pushing everything out. So if you just cut a little piece of that tip off, just the tip will go like that. Well, it's supposed to stop this from happening. Let's see, shall we? Move it to the same point. Three, two, one. What? It did, it actually stopped. Like the only reason why it went all the way down, let me try this one more time. We'll take the one that actually split this right here. The only reason why that split is because I went too far down with it. But let me clip the end of that. Okay, and three, two, one. What the heck, man? Okay, so uh, that worked. All right, my friends, if this one works, it's gonna be real nice. -like. Now, a lot of us have cans like this in our shop, whether it's for paint, whether it's, you know, brake cleaning fluid or whatever you got going on. Especially in the wintertime, these things will drain of air and then 
well, you don't really have all that much oomph or they just don't spray at all. So let's fix it. Again, test, pop the top, topped, popped. Air compressor, one, put that in there. Push down, pull the trigger. Put the cap back on. <laughs> it's actually spraying harder. That's real nice like. So apparently you can put air back into your can. All right, so the next cool trick plays no role in helping your life become easier. But if you want to impress your friends and show them a trick that you know that they don't, well, try this. Now it has to do with a screwdriver and a any type of compressed air coming out of a compressor, such as one of these right here. Now, you definitely don't want this to be wide open. You want the air to be forced out through a smaller tube as such. And then you let the aerodynamics take over, my friend. Now, obviously it takes some practice. You can get these things spinning and staying up pretty much indefinitely. I didn't believe it when I first seen it, but it works. Now we used to do cool videos like this all the time on the channel, it was called Tool Tip Tuesday. You would get your tool tips for free. However, unfortunately people stopped watching them and we stopped doing them. But if you want me to bring back Tool Tip Tuesday, tool tips for free, yeah. Let me know in the comments section and we'll continue doing these types of videos. Also get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss those new videos. And one more thing, leave me a comment in the comment section. Which one of these tricks did you like the best? Which one will help you out the most? Love hearing that sweet, sweet feedback. And if you like this video, I got another one for you right there. We'll be back with more videos soon.